This is Hart. I'm at Tom Sawyer with Jody Thompson, and we're going to talk about the autumn olive, Iliagnus, uh, and it is one of the worst invasive species. First of all, general observation. So this field has not been mowed for a while. You, you would think that if we just leave nature alone, then we can just the, you know, nature's happy if we just leave it alone. The problem with that is that we have not left nature alone. We've imported all these in, uh, species, some of which have become invasive. One of them is autumn olive, and if we allow vas invasive species to run rampant, then our natives can't grow. And just, you know, most of the plant matter in this field is invasive, whether you're talking about our turf grass or the autumn olive or the or the calorie pears, etc. So Jody's going to talk to us about the um, Iliagnus. Alright, so this is autumn olive. We'll look, we see we have two different sizes. We have a pretty young shrub. And then if we look here to our left, we have a very large shrub. And then we have little bitty ones popping out, out in the field. These typically spread by seed. They have a small orangish red berry. Um, it's actually an edible berry. However, uh, it spreads rapidly and it takes over areas very quickly. And a uh, point of note about autumn olive, we don't see it as much in the lowland areas that are a little more moist. We'll grow down there, but not quite as much. As we move up into drier habitats, it's, uh, it's easier for it to grow there. So what we see here is a long, slightly wavy leaf. It feels rough. If, you, if any of you get a chance to experience this, see these little dots on the top of the leaf. And then you see this light brown stem, especially on the younger stems. They'll start to turn a little more brown and gray as they get larger. But most identifiable is the silvery underside. So easy uh, identification characteristics. It's also one of those things that makes it attractive and people want to plant it. And oftentimes, you know, we can understand why just because it is an attractive ornamental plant, especially when it's flowering. However, we know that it has completely invaded uh, many habitats to the point of completely taking over. So if it's important to you to have songbird populations, wildflower populations, places you can enjoy just for enjoyment's sake, or because it's important to you to have healthy ecosystems, which by the way, equate to more stable ecosystems, then autumn olives should be on your hit list.